What warning signs are you seeing that no one is paying attention to? The collapse of public education is coming faster than any of us think. Healthcare is freaking scary. Staff shortages are reducing access to so many things. Teachers are quitting in droves. We're going to have a critical shortage of service workers and essential workers. Working as a PT in a hospital. I can tell you 90% of the chronic patients aren't getting enough treatment or medical resources. Lack of well-reported local news. It doesn't really snow here anymore. We used to get at least a few inches two or three times per winter. It's been over 50 degrees the last two weeks. And an honorary mention. Seems like there's fewer and fewer bugs around each spring and summer. Used to go outside and there would be tons of bees, butterflies, beetles, and of course, tons of mosquitoes. Now, barely a fraction of that number. The DoD is blaming American veterans for underwhelming enlistment numbers. Apparently, is complaining about how bad it is to be in the military is preventing them from pulling the wool over people's eyes. On that note, please educate yourselves on the rape, sexual assault statistics across all branches of the arm forces and spread the word. There's a loneliness epidemic that already has taken root and is getting worse. Romantic and platonic relationships are at an all-time low and forming new relationships seems as impossible as ever. This is only going to cause more mental health issues and premature health issues. The tiny harbingers of the breakdown of the social contract. Road rage. General lack of courtesy. Immediate escalation for the smallest inconvenience. People just don't care as much and it's becoming a social contagion. Why would an individual act in everyone's interest when it seems like one can't always expect the same? Florida, and other parts of the country that are vulnerable to hurricanes, have large swaths of areas that are becoming uninsurable for homeowners' insurance. Large sea trawlers scooping up sand and depositing it on fake beaches like in Dubai. They're scooping up sea life and depositing it where it doesn't belong where it will a die or be become an infestation. I see several. Public education and healthcare seem like they are on the brink of collapsing. People being priced out of housing is also a major issue. Reading comprehension is in the toilet. Ocean acidification. It seems there is some consensus that the headlights these days are too bright. But no one seems to be interested in taking responsibility for it. Your headlights are too bright. You. Fix it. The fact that we're losing topsoil, and bee colonies are collapsing. A shortage of clean fresh water. Going from several feet of snow each winter to rain. No more, 9 months of hard winter and 3 months of poor skiing. Specific to my family, there have been 4 people in my family diagnosed with cancer within a 30-year period. They are comprised of 2 small cell lung cancer diagnoses and 2 thyroid cancer diagnoses. Thyroid cancer is not genetic, at least according to their oncologist, and the two who had it are siblings. Both cancers can be caused by long-term exposure to radon in the home. Three of them lived in the same house. And the fourth visited frequently and also lived in the same town. I've expressed this to my immediate family and I seem to be the only one who cares enough to want to get the houses tested. None of them know the last time they got tested. For reference, my mom is one of the thyroid cancer diagnoses. And I grew up spending a lot of time in that house as a child. If you enjoyed this video, 
please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.